Hello. I'll now try to give you an introduction to the Red Ocean or st structured way to organize your thoughts when you are a team. Uh, the very basis for it is the six hats of thinking. And uh, Dr. Edward de Bono is the very, yeah, the founder of it or the idea behind it. And you can read a lot more about him at the internet. Blue hat. The blue hat is called the facilitator hat. It focuses on structuring. Think of the sky and overview. The blue hat asks the following questions. What is our agenda? What is our next step and next hat? What is our decision? The blue hat is the role of the facilitator. It can be worn by any member of the meeting. It focuses and refocuses thinking and asks for a summary of the thinking. The white hat. The white hat is called the logical hat. It focuses on the facts and figures. Think of white paper and computer printouts. The white hat asks the following questions. What information is available? What information would we like and what do we need? How are we going to get the missing information? The white hat notes a range of perspectives if there are conflicting views. It assesses the relevance and the accuracy of the information and pinpoints action needed to fill gaps. The yellow hat. The yellow hat is called the positive hat. It focuses on the advantages. Think of the sunshine. The yellow hat asks the following questions. What are the benefits? What are the positives and the value? Is there a concept in the idea that makes it attractive? The yellow hat requires a deliberate decision. It helps reinforce creative ideas and new directions. You must give reasons why an idea is valuable or might work. The black hat. The black hat is called the conservative hat. It focuses on caution. Think of judicial robes and Wild West marshals. The black hat asks the following questions. What could be the potential problems? What could some of the difficulties be? What are the points of caution and risk? The black hat helps make better decisions. It points out difficulties and explains why things may not work. But it always gives logical reasons for concerns. It is a powerful tool when used in combination with other hats. The green hat. The green hat is called the creative hat. It focuses on the innovation. Think of nature and growth. The green hat asks the following questions. Are there other ways that this can be done? What else can be done? What will overcome our difficulties? The green hat encourages a search for new ideas and alternatives. It seeks to modify and remove false and existing ideas. The red hat. The red hat is called the emotional hat. It focuses on feelings. Think of fire and warmth. The red hat asks the following questions. What are my feelings now? What does my intuition tell me? What's my gut reaction? The red hat should be limited to 30 seconds or less. It gives us permission to express our feelings, our hunches, our intuitions. It does not require us to justify or explain. It just lets us express how we feel. So now you had a very practical introduction to the six hats of thinking. And here's some text you can read yourself at the Prezi if you want. But the re real key thing here is that there's an example if you're a golf player and you are playing golf, if you're only using one club, or the same club, you will be beaten by the one who is using the full set of them. But imagine that you want to play golf with all clubs at once, then it won't work. And that's what often happens in a discussion where a team tries to get to an agreement that the alpha males or the shouting persons are uh, shouting and it's in, in not a dialogue but in just an argument who is the strongest. The six hats should help a team to accept the role and stay in it. So to keep focus and to avoid conflicts. 
The first you just heard was the white hat. And there you ask the questions, what information do we need? It's the kind of the data, the objectives. What do we know? How are we going to get the information? Remember not to be negative or start to discuss something. Then we had the yellow hat. And the yellow hat is the benefit, the happy one. Imagine a smiley that you're really trying to drag out all the positives concerning the problem or the issue you're discussing. The green hat is a kind of where you can be creative and innovative, try to look for new ideas, alternatives. Isn't there a better way to solve this? Note it, uh, stay in the role, don't discuss it. The black hat is the kind you saw the policeman with caution or the you can see and not a smile, an unhappy smiley. And this is the skeptical one who sees a lot of problems. Often that's the way uh if you are an engineer you kind of look at the problems and try to find a solution. So this is a good time to look at the potential problems and threats to the concept. Now you had a brief introduction to the six hats of thinking. However, at the at Aalborg University under the creative platform, which means the creative platform, they try to adapt this. So they try to adapt these six hats where you're positive creative notice the color uh, to adapt that into what they call the red ocean. The red ocean is as you see here you can see there is the yellow color, the happy smiley, what's good, the fact, the white, no color at all. So We'll come back to that and you have here the alternatives and the policeman or the negative option, the intuition or emotion here you can impress, express your feelings about what you, the topic. And in here you're really the cool guy having the overview. But let's give it a try. Now you have to identify a problem the team can discuss in a constructive manner or a concept, an idea could for example be should marijuana be legalized that's a good one because there's always a lot of thoughts there and feelings but let's try it, let's visit the red ocean here and we start with the white hat so the white hat was to be to pull out all the information, objective information you have and to identify information which is missing. So now we are on the island. You can have this big map on the floor and then you walk between them uh, to ensure people uh, understand their roles. So now it's not hat, it's a kind of map you are walk, walking around at. So here you draw out the facts about marijuana that it's addictive, it's uh, some if you have um, hurts in the joints that's good to smoke marijuana and remember not to say anything negative about it. It's only the facts. If you want to say something negative you can say research results or research shows that people get addicted or research shows or my neighbor will be very offended if it's legalized. But it's not, not your opinions. The next one. Now we're positive. We have all the data, all the facts. So now we start to ask, what is the benefit of marijuana? The advantages that you get rid of uh, crime is the first step towards hard drugs. So you avoid that and 
things like that, and you just stay on this island. If you want to use this presentation, you just pause it here, and then you can use it in that manner. The next step is, on the red ocean here, is to see what is the problems, the risk, the negative things to see. So if you go to that part, or that little island, the negative thing with my honor could be that if you're politicians, it could be really explosive to start to use this. Uh, the negative side is also that you perhaps get a lot of addicted people. Uh, smoking, you just made a registration which is saying it's not legal to smoke inside, it's bad for your health. So if you want to make it legal, there could be a lot of problems there. The next one. Couldn't there be alternatives to marijuana legalizing it? So when we're on that island, we have to be creative. Let's say, okay, if we... Marijuana, if you smoke it, that's perhaps bad, but what if we can extract what is good in marijuana, or we can eat it as cakes, or something really alternative, and still get the best out of marijuana, then we don't have to smoke it, and then we solve a lot of problems. Just try to be creative here. The next one, the red hat, is your feelings. What do your heart tell you, or your God's feeling? So if you go to that one here, and people may be exploding when you are extracting data because they really have hard feelings here, or strong feelings. So here they can say, I, no matter what you say, I really feel it. Smoking marijuana is bad, I don't want it. No way, forget it. This is where you can express it, and then leave it there. So now we just need the cool overview, where we really take a helicopter view on all the facts. We have the positive, the negative, the alternatives. So when we visit this island, we, we look at it, and here you perhaps see that there is pros and cons, you know that marijuana is perhaps bad not just to say it's illegal, because there are some good things for sick people, it solves a lot with pain, and if, for example, you can do it without smoking it, there, will be, there could be a way through it. So here you can try to identify it. You could also identify a new problem and then visit, go back to the facts, try again, so the idea here is that you don't have to go this way, I showed you, you can, but never start with the negative, that's kind of rule of thumb. Start with facts, then go to the positives, and then if some people say, oh, I need to express my emotion, you just go out here and be emotional, and then you continue. The most important is that you agree on where to go. So now you had a brief overview to the Red Ocean. Feel free to try it. Hopefully you will enjoy it.